this is part two. It's my <clears throat> makeup. So I'm going to take this little short-haired stipple brush. That's what I'm going to use. You can mix your makeup on a palette. You can use your hand. This is one of those palettes that I think Renee has. <clears throat> but right now, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use my hand. So I'm going to use pearlizer. I'm just going to use one part pearlizer. See that? Really small. And my foundation is foamed. So I'm going to make this three times bigger. See that? Then I'm going to take the end of my brush. I'm going to mix it up. Like that. And I'm just going to dot it here. Dot it here. Put some dots. And then I'm just going to stipple it on. Stipple it. Especially around your wrinkles. Try not to smile when you're doing your makeup. Because it'll go in the lines. So can you see that? I'm trying to do this and look in this phone. So. You just stipple it. All over. And yeah, it takes longer. But you will get... An airbrush finish. I'm gonna put on my eyes. Short. As you can see, I'm not going. I am just stippling. I'm pressing it into my pores. All over. Up here, my my wrinkles are going this way. I'm gonna try to relax my hate my forehead as much as possible and I'm going to stipple this way. It just gives you a more finished airbrush look. Make sure it's all blended. If you need more, get more in your hand. I'm trying to do this fast so my video won't go over. But it is just going to make your makeup just be airbrushed. And then when I, when I get through, go over that zip more. So I'm going to wash off the excess. Hand. Now when I get through stippling all over, I'm going to take a dry brush, and it's important to have dry brushes and your brushes with your makeup. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush like this, and I'm just going to buff. Now I'm going to buff my skin and make sure it's all in. Dry brush. Now, do you see that? Now. The next thing that I'm going to do, and this is what I should have done first, but like I said, this is a video. I'm just teaching y'all. I should have put on my natural concealer first because I have a little skin, uh, well, it's not really a skin cancer, but it's a place that had frozen off because I was in the sun. And what I'm going to do is put this natural concealer over it. And I'm just pressing it in. If I wanted to, I could add some foundation, but see, you can't even hardly see it now. With that, I might put some over that zit, too. Me with zits. Oh, my God. I'm 52. All right. And then you can use green concealer if you want to. I just use natural. So, the next thing I'm going to do, so I put on my foundation all over. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my cheeks with this bronzer. So, here's your bronzer brush. You already have product at the end of it. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to have it go halfway. And then right here underneath my cheekbone, underneath my cheeks, not my cheekbone, I'm sorry, my cheeks. You'll see a line. I'm going to just go draw a line like this. 
up and down. And that is going to give me a cheek. A prominent cheek. You see that? So that's next. That's what I'm going to do. Now next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my blush. Now, I like to mix pouty pink and cherry. See, I'm almost out of cherry. I've had this cherry for a while, and I've put it on other people, too. And it only takes a little bit. So I just put a little dot. Look, little dot of pouty pink. And a little dot if I can even get it out of cherry. You can mix it with pearlizer, you can mix it with your lipstick. This is just how I'm doing it today. This is my blush brush. It is slanted to do this. So I'm gonna mix this together like this on my hand and then I'm just going to, your blush doesn't start here it starts right here on your bone so I'm going to put a dot Ooh, I don't know if I got any dot I'm going to dot it up see I was talking and it dry it dries really quick dot and then I'm going to blend up and I'm stippling it too see how I'm stippling it I'm not going like that. I'm stippling it and going up. Stippling it. What I mean by stipple is I'm pressing it. Pressing it and going up. Pressing it and going up. What I'm doing is slow motion. I'm pressing, 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 pressing. Now, now do you see that? Now, now, next. I'm just wiping the excess off this blush. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So you have to have a lot of brushes on time. So what I'm doing next is I'm taking this eyebrow comb brush and I'm getting all the foundation. I'm brushing backwards out of my eyebrows and I'm going forwards. Brushing backwards, going forward. And I'm going to use my eyebrows. So I'm going to use, I like to use the um, Mocha Java on me. I just, it just seems to be more natural than the eyebrow stuff. I'm just not very talented to do that. And so what I'm doing is I'm wiping the excess off. It's got a pointed tip. I'm going to go backwards with my eyeshadows. I don't know if you can see this, yeah. So I'm going to go backwards. And then I'm going to go forwards. You want your end of your eyebrow to come when you draw a line. Your arch to be outside the, peep, the, um, the iris, which is the dark color of your eye. And your eyebrow to start right here ooh, with your nose. So, now, do you see that difference? So I'm going to do the other eyebrow and I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to show you how to do your eyes.